Hey guys, this is Dr. McFarland, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to color your tracks in Reaper. Now, the theme that I'm using is a Pro Tools 12 theme. And if you go down to the themes, you can see I have all these other ones available. This guy is actually in the Reaper forum on Facebook. So big shout out to him. And I'll leave a link to this theme down in the description. But what I like about it is the colors are very vibrant and that's why i like looking at so let's go ahead and make some tracks we can see that inserting a new track is command t or we can just go over here and double click all right so let's make four tracks and let's call it kick snare overhead left and overhead right and then all we're going to do is simply click on the first one hold down shift click on the last one so it highlights or it selects all the tracks then we're going to go in and right click. Okay, we can see from the drop down menu, we go all the way down. We have a track color option. So I usually go to set tracks to custom color. Then it gives us this big color wheel. And we have a wheel like this, or we can have stuff like this. We can just have a very limited color option, or we have a spectrum, and we have like a crayon or colored pencil type of thing. So for drums, I usually like to do some kind of blue. So we'll make it blueberry. And then you can see that it's a very nice, rich, deep blue color. And if we go over to the mixer view, you can see that the whole track is colored in blue, not just like a certain portion of it. So once you get a bunch of tracks put in together, it's all very colorful and looks very pleasing to the eyes, which I know we're mixing with our ears, but Sometimes looking at something that is inspiring is just as helpful as listening to something that's inspiring. Right, I'm going to click on the last track and then right click and insert a template. And you can see a buses template that I've already made previously. So this template consists of a submix, vocals, background vocals, a band bus, an instrument bus, drums, keys guitars bass bass crush and then some reverbs and delay effects on the bottom and then if we go over to the mixer view you can see it's all color coded very well you got some purples and some yellows some reds and so on so to me color coding is just a great way to keep your session organized and know exactly where you are at all times then obviously the more times you use it, you're just gonna know exactly where things are and it makes it very easy to get around in your session. So thanks guys for watching. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe down below for more Reaper tips just like this one. And be sure to click that bell so you'll be notified whenever I come out with a new video in this series. So in the meantime, I'm Dr. McFarland. I will see you in the next video. Keep rocking.